Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a DIY project to uh, the Simon Says game that I bought off of Banggood. So I want to show you the Banggood site. These are all the parts right here that I got to solder together. It's fairly cheap, 13 bucks. Bought it from Banggood here. And check it out. Alright, so let's put this on the bigger screen here. I want you to see it better. Okay, so we have some buttons right here. We have microcontrollers. Uh, we have some resistors in here. I see some LEDs, some capacitors, and a 9 volt battery uh, connector right there. So let's open that up some screws here this is going to be part of the case um, just to put all that together so we'll keep that off to the side so here's the case and yeah that's pretty much it for that I really don't like this uh, this paper stuff on here but I see why they put it on there to protect it so we have the PCB here looks like everything is labeled nicely here have a look at this as you can see right here Everything is labeled really well. I really like that. So that's 9013. Um, yeah, there's a couple more over here. Um, every, yeah, everything is really labeled nicely. Won't have to look at anything on this one. Uh, so here's the cover to it. Passers there. I uh, don't really see anything else. Wait. Um, is there a speaker to this? I thought I seen a speaker. Well, let's go to. So I am going to be talking over this part. Apparently, I forgot about the uh, putting the mic on when I did the transition over to the Bing Good site. So, yeah, there's no audio going through there. But as you can see, I am missing two wires. I'm missing the speaker, and I'm missing the little um, what is that? A foam piece that sticks to the back of uh, the PCB. So yeah, as you can see, with all the rest of the components, it is sitting there, but I just never got it. So I've had other things not show up before in packages that I bought from Baked Um A couple of other things I'll be doing reviews on um, will have things missing as well. Baked Good is not very consistent. I will be showing them uh, this video. So we'll see what they have to say about that. But I am going to be making another review video um, after this. So you guys can check it out after. Um, so yeah, these transitions, I'm just going to have to talk over them. Your points for it. So that's actually really irritating over that. But okay, let's put this thing together, minus the speaker. That's kind of annoying. There is one other thing here. Uh, we have a piece of paper. Insulation of the Simon Gamer. They don't even want to say Simon Says copyright type of thing so we do have a diagram here I'll have to show it to you everything's labeled fairly good right there so if you want to build this circuit uh, I guess you can uh, yeah there's supposed to be a speaker right there you can see it uh, so um, you can see if they can send me one but I doubt they'll ever do that always for good practice you should always be testing out uh, your components to make sure that they work everything is correct before you actually stick them to the board so I think I'm gonna start off with putting in resistors into this board I'm gonna do the hundred ones first just kind of bend this that way stick them on the board properly and get to it I'll just show you what it looks like at the moment so this is the back, and here's the front. So you see, so these are all the hundreds right here. There's a hundred here. There's a hundred there. That's the 10K. That's 10K, hundred. There's a hundred here. Um, doesn't look like I'm missing any others, so let's just solder these in. So what I like to do is I know they're all soldered in. I like to push on them, make sure that they're sitting nice and firmly on the board. 
just got to snip these off. So this is what the back looks like. As you can see, and there's the resistors on the board. So I'm going to do the diodes now. They're the, um, I can't remember the name of them, but they're almost like a glass type of uh, diode. So those are it right there. So we have a black mark on both of them. There you go. You can see one there, one on that one. You can actually see those marks on the board. You see them right down there. So they have to face that direction. So just to show you with just the one, you can see what direction I had that black mark. So do the same with the other. So it should look like that. And as you can see, I bent them as well. So. So this is how it should look. All right, so what do I want to put on there next? I guess we can do these transistors. There is three of them. These are actually really easy to deal with because they're labeled as well. So I'll show you one of them. This here is labeled. So this one, as you can see, it's got a number on it. I can't read that with my own old eyes. It says 59013. I think that's what it says on top. 59013. All right, so that would go. I think that says 59. Let me have a look at that again. What does it say? Oh, it's 9013. So, yeah, um, I really had to look at that again. My bad. So, as you can see on the board, uh, where is it? Right here. It says 9013. So, that's where that one goes. Um, the other two, one is labeled. Um, 7550 that one goes on right here right onto the edge here and then the last one goes over here so just double check to make sure like if you do get this board uh, just double check to make sure that uh, you put the right ones in the right areas there is a direction on how it goes in as you can see there's a little um, corner cut out there and there you can kind of see it on here as well that's the direction it goes spread it a little bit uh, it goes on like this as you can see now we can look a little bit better than that and do the same to the other three so I'm going to solder them into place make sure that they're sitting kind of okay so I'll snip off these ends this is how it should look. You can see that they're on there. May not be the prettiest alignment. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is LEDs. Do I want to do LEDs first? Actually, no, let's do the, um, the chip slots. We can do that next. That would be fairly easy to do. You can kind of see them right here. These will be next. And just slide them on here. Oh, by the way, there is a notch. Like this is a long one here. You can see that there's a notch right there. Now you need to line that up with this little notch here on the side. Uh, you can see it right there. And the same thing goes with the other one. You can see it right there. Uh, your chips will align to that as well. So yeah, again, there's a notch on this. You can see it right there. So I'm just going to flip this thing around. I'm only going to tack a cor uh, two corners down here. That way I can uh, push it up against the board a little bit better. So one and then two. I may want to do the same as well. Alright, this is what I mean. I'm going to heat them up like this corner here and that one. Same thing goes with this and then that one down there. Um, that way I can kind of push this thing up against the board at the same time. So I'm going to push on it from down here and I'm going to reheat these edges up okay I actually felt that moving up against the board same thing goes with that one yeah that one too perfect so yeah that's actually fairly flush with the board now so I just gotta go ahead and just solder the rest of these it's kind of wobbling around just uh try out my my helper's hands here just to kind of keep it from moving around. There we are.
All right, so now that has been soldered on. See my wonderful soldering job right there. Looks good. Starting to look like a functional board here. All right, so I think the LEDs should be next. I'm going to have to test them on my power supply. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that next. So I'm not really sure if these are different colored LEDs. I'm going to be testing it on my power supply here. So I'm going to stick this thing close to 3 volts and then test it. Uh, if you are going to be doing this, uh, just make sure that the positive or the positive lead is the longer lead and the negative is the shorter lead on the LED. If you don't have anything like this, you can use uh, a couple of AA batteries and a resistor. So make sure that you do use a resist resistor or you're going to burn it out. So um, I think I should bring this thing up. Actually, I'll just do this. I think it should be roughly around like 3 volts. So you are green. So you can kind of see a green glow in this one right here. See it? I should actually grab something where I can write this down. I do the exact same thing that they did with uh, masking tape. Let's put some on the end here. So you are green. Let's move you off to the side. Oh crap, it just came off. It's not a big deal, it just has to temporarily stick. So you can see that this one's blue. So I'm not really sure how Simon says LEDs are um, color coded, which direction they go. So I'm going to have to uh, look at an actual game and then figure it out from there. So I'll just put B for blue. Taking one of these red. Are you the red one? Or are you yellow? Okay, this one's yellow. You can see it right here. It's yellow or amber. Technically, what it looks like more amber than anything. So Y for yellow, and I'm assuming you're red. And I was assuming right. See, it's red. There. There's a big R. All right. So now I can pack this thing up. I'm done with it. So it's been a while since I've uh, used Simon Says, so I wasn't really quite sure what direction the RGBY would actually go, so having a look at one of the images there of a real one uh, shows me that green goes top left, red goes top right, yellow goes bottom left, and blue goes to the bottom right. Now we have a direction here. Green goes on next. Alright, so you'll see we're positive, negative, positive, negative. So we are going to put um, green up here. So make sure that they're flush with the board, the LEDs. What's next? Red top right. Blue bottom right. Yellow bottom left. So this is how your board should look. So they should be green, red, yellow, blue. Make sure that you have the long lead as positive, the shorter lead as negative and just solder it in. LEDs are now soldered. So this is how the board should look. You got your LEDs, everything's on there. So now I'm gonna be doing these little capacitors, these brown ones here. So I'm just putting them in like this. So you got one right there. You can see it right here. There's one right there. And then there's one right there. So all three are right there. So they'll be soldered in next. So, as you can see, they're now in. Back looks fairly good. Nice soldering joints. So, what's next? 9 volt. Uh, it's got to be soldered in. So, I think I'm going to do the capacitors now. So, there is two capacitors here. I did test them. Uh, one of them is actually labeled... 470 microfarad here. And you can see it right here. 470. And this says that on here as well. 470 right there. So we will do that. Uh, there is a direction on here. Uh, you can see there's a negative end right here, the white strip. And if you have a look on this board right down here, you can see that there is a white line where I'm touching right there. 
that is the negative side. So make sure that the white negative end goes into the white side, it's like so. So just bend those over. Now do the same with this other little small capacitor. This um, actually goes onto the edge right here. You can see that little slot. That actually goes to where the speaker is supposed to sit, which they never gave me. Again, that one also has a line and has a white mark on the board. I'll just show it to you up close here. You can kind of somewhat see it right there. Yeah, there you go. You can see where it sits. So I'm just going to push that down a bit. All right, solder them into place. What else am I missing? So the battery wire is going to be put in next and then I guess um, I want to test fit this thing uh, before I solder this on because I think that they stick up a bit because they got to extrude out of the board here or just surfaced with this. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Meanwhile, there is a mark where the 9 volt goes as you can see right down here there's a negative and a positive right there so positive is red negative is black that's easy to remember right so they're in now uh, oh it looks like the black melted a little bit well I could put these chips on alright so you can see on these chips right here there is a mark on all of them. There's a little curved notch there on that one and a curved notch on this one. You can kind of somewhat see it right there. Yeah, those curved notches follow what you did earlier on this. So there is a curved one here and then a curved one here. So if you want to look at this thing upright, your, uh, your curve goes on this side on both of them. Ooh, this thing is bent. I'm going to have to do, uh, do some rework here. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to sit. As you can see, the notches there on both of them. So yeah, just make sure that you put that in there correctly. <laughs> so I'm going to put you off to the side. I think the next part is to figure this out. So I'm going to unwrap and unpeel all this crap and get back to you. Well, I kind of figured out how these mounts go. However, these screws are a little bit too big. See, I can't get them to, you know, go through the board. So I'm going to have to use a drill bit just to kind of widen up the holes a little bit better. That way this slides on in. Just widen up the hole with a bit by hand. Oh yeah, I just slipped right in. Okay, I'm going to use the drill. I ain't peeling around with that by hand again. Okay, with that bit. So if you want to kind of see how I'm doing this, I have the long silver screws here and I'm using the standoff, just a little uh, transparent one, and then your board would sit on top of that. So one in the corner there, 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 and one in the middle. So just make sure that you set it up that way. Right now what I'm trying to do is just uh, kind of see how high this thing's got to go up because I want it like fr flush with this top part here. Slide it on there. Keep it up just a tad. So right to the edge is where I got to solder these pins. That's all I needed to know. But at least I got the case and stuff all, all off and ready to go. So there's that. Go back to soldering again. Yay. I want to do one at a time. Just barely um, popping out. I just want to tack one end. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what direction that this sits. As you can see, the um, dots are in the bottom. Do the same to the other side. It's as flush as it's going to get. Ash, it looks perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to solder this thing together. So this is how it should look on the back, on the front. As you can see, that is pretty flush, although it's not sitting correct with the camera. Trust me, that's pretty flush. So you got to put these little buttons on here now. Make sure everything is on here. Yeah, everything seems to be soldered except for the speaker because I don't got one. It never came with one. 
I would say your next bet would be to solder the speaker in a place, but I don't got one. She never came with one. So this is what it should look like. Uh, this is sticking out a bit, like these two tops here. Everything looks to be perfectly fine. All this has been soldered in the plates. Um, I would say what would be next would be the speaker, which is that little section right there. Just uh, solder two wires on and just leave it as is. Um, actually, well, you could just solder the wires to the speaker as well, flip it over, and it should stick on the back somewhere. I don't know. I think it would probably go somewhere around here because just looking at the uh, the holes in here, everything else looks to be good except for the the rubber buttons here. I am going to put a couple of little wires on here because I do want to actually see if this thing actually works for sound. So I'm going to head her into the shed, grab a speaker, and um, test it. So I grabbed a couple of wires here. I am going to connect it to this. Actually, probably just going to leave them stuffed in here as well. But uh, see how this goes. Yeah. So at least I got two wires here. There we are. So here's the speaker. I guess I'll push on one of these. Um. Okay. Something wrong here? Why aren't you working? Oh, so that. That one's the one that starts it. <laughs> Screw that up. So this thing's gonna be speakerless now. Maybe I'll just keep these wires still attached and maybe try to find a speaker for it. Being good doesn't send me one. I hope they do, but I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. So the buttons are next. So you just pull them on through. So you can see the little rubber right here. I'm going to pull it. And it slides right in the hole and stays. Just don't pull too hard or you're going to break it. Um, I do want to note that uh, these two wires here for the battery, uh, they should maybe actually come out from the bottom. That way you can wrap your wire around on the bottom part. And it doesn't get in the way of the, the button here. However, I don't think it really matters too much. I just put some tape there. That way they don't move all over the place. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Simon says works. I just want to give you guys a heads up that the clips I just showed you there putting the buttons in was after the part I'm about to show you. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys the correct way of doing it first. So this next part here, you'll see the buttons kind of like all over the place, but this part will actually show you how to put the case together. So just wanted you to be aware of that. All right, put this thing into the case here. I'll show you guys how this sits as soon as I'm done putting it all together here. Battery just kind of somewhat sits in here, I guess. Sides go on. All right, before I continue, I just want to show you guys how I have this set up. We have the long silver screws on the bottom, and then we have the transparent uh, spacer here. And the screw sticks out just a little bit, and then this will screw onto that. Just to kind of hold the board down to the bottom part. And now, the black screws would go through the front face into this part here. What these other screws are for, I don't know. Who cares? They don't look like they're used for anything. They could at least gave me a speaker <laughs> instead of other random screws that I don't need. But it'll never be finished without a speaker. However, that kind of sounded really annoying anyway, so I'm kind of glad that there isn't one, but still, that defeats the purpose, right? So there we go. Well, hopefully you're able to follow along. I will be making a review video of the Simon game, so be sure to check that out. The link will be in the description. In the review, I'll let you know what Banggood has to say about the missing speaker. Too bad I couldn't fully finish the Simon game because of it. At least the important part was covered. I also have quite a few DIY tutorials that will be on the way as well. I'm currently working on a product review of the Simon Says game and a post on my website. So when complete, the link will also be in the description. As always, 
I will see you in the next one.